Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Atrid Plus. I uh, did not like our daily yesterday, so I'm going to start with the non-daily. It might have been two days ago by video purposes. Oh, it hurt a great deal. <laughs> the Dark Knight Rises, am I right? Am I right, fellow gamers? W3, Kate, ZQW2, mm, with unlimited something's wrong pills. Not a great start there, but damage is middling. Probably a little below average. Uh, rate of fire is great. Speed is bad, but not bad enough to... Well, actually, it's pretty... Like, anything under 0 0.9, you start to be like... That That could be a, a problem, but... Uh, thankfully, one of our Eden items was a... Uh, well, do we have Eden's Blessing or something? Why do we have three starting items? I'm happy, don't get me wrong, because uh, Tractor Beam does improve our ability to hit enemies a little bit, and then when you add that to the extra HP that we get from Moldy Bread, I think we're much happier than you would have expected us to be in, uh, in an alternative situation. Placebo is excellent if you get a pill you like. If you get a pill that's decent, it's decent. If you get a pill you hate, I mean, this is the problem with it right now, is that something's wrong is actually not good at all, more or less, I think. It just makes the floor slippery. Maybe it does, maybe it's creep that does damage to enemies. Oh. I am a little stupid. But that being said, we, we, we know we want to pull our strength potion, or sorry, wrong, uh... <laughs> Played a lot of Slay the Spire recently. We know we want to uh, take our strength card with us because the strength card is like actually good We don't really care if we take a hit here like by all means what I would love to see is caffeine pill It plays into the strengths of this run By giving us some speed and it allows us to maybe get something awesome that we can use with placebo like pills get a bad rap But it's mostly deserved but people I think you know nuance is in the its last throes of its death rattle right now in, on planet Earth for the most part. Um, what uh, is good about pills? You can't just write them off. You can't just say pills are bad. I don't take them. I mean, you can say you don't take them. It's probably, you know, players better than myself that do take that approach. But with placebo, we can get a permanent and repeatable stat increase if we just find the right pills. So I'm not willing uh, to give up on the placebo dream yet. We are, of course, like our overall goal is we're looking for uh, Unicorn Stump, we're looking for Dr. Fetus, we're looking for... Uh, I don't remember all of the others, but you get the general gist of what I'm saying here. Looking for a few items we haven't seen before. We're looking for a city where we're never done. You've seen the... Vi maybe you haven't? I don't know. The video was pretty popular when I was like 20. All of you were probably alive when I was 20. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the demographic breakdown anymore. Ooh, I do like a little chocolate milk. It's a lie in real life. I don't I don't like any milk. I like milk products, but I don't like milk. So, I'm just level with you, like, ventricular razor is also, uh, it's really good. If you use it properly, but I don't know if we will. People try to use that against you, like, I, I don't like the taste of milk. Moreover, I don't care if you drink milk, that doesn't bother me, but whenever you tell people you don't drink milk, the, the dairy board propaganda starts to filter out, and I'm not talking about the main town from it, you know? People go, oh, well, uh, enjoy your osteoporosis. What do you know? You're not a freaking bone doctor. You're just repeating what the commercial says. Commercial, you know, whenever you watch a commercial, it's like, got milk. You know, at the end of it, it's not like, paid for by doctors. It's paid for by the freaking Bureau of Milk Statistics. I'm not saying, this sounds conspiratorial. I'm just saying, I don't, it's not that I think milk is bad for you. I just think they have brainwashed the population into thinking that it's a health food when it's that's not necessarily the case. But I'm not trying to like ruffle any feathers here necessarily. Or oh god, there's a knock on my door. It's a couple of suited men with white liquid mustaches. I I guess in the end I do hope they're from the milk board. Otherwise they got a lot of explaining to do about the stashes. Anyway, um, 
But yeah, it's like one of those foods where you go, oh, you don't like blank? Well, what about blank? Yeah, I like cheese. I like milk stouts. It's a slightly different sort of thing, though. You're allowed to like milk. It doesn't bother me. We should be ha It should pair up. You're never gonna uh, be in a situation where I'm in front of you at the grocery store and I grab the last two percent out of the out of the refrigerator. It's actually not true because Kate drinks milk on occasion, so I might grab it. But it's not for me. Your odds are probably lower, is what I'm trying to say. Caffeine pill and a deal with the devil, please. Ah, we didn't deserve the deal with the devil because we made one mistake. <laughs> But, I would have liked it. Would have liked it. Placenta's not anything to write home about. Yeah, you know, I'm like, uh, what about on your cereal? You can't beat me in this game. I've done it enough times. I eat my cereal dry. Sorry. I gave you a real chance, Placebo. I did, but Guppy's head, especially when our stats are a little bit uh, wonky, is uh, a much better option for us. I eat my cereal dry. You, people always go, that's super weird. I go, no, it's not. It's weird to you, as you consume it with milk. If you want to get into it, I'm eating, like, cooked grains. It's like... <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. Um, it was the milk. It was the... It's the osteoporosis taking over my thyroid gland. Um... It's, it's cooked grain. It's like 80% of the average Western diet is cooked grains. Maybe with a little sugar on top, depending on what brand you're buying. Um, you know what's weirder than eating cooked grains? Eating cooked grains with the lactation of a different species over it. I agree, it's more common to be consuming it with cow's milk on top. Or... It, on top sounds weird, but I'm never the one who fires the first shot. I never walk up to somebody and go Hey, what what's that weird white stuff in your cereal bowl? It's always like someone will see me or I'll talk about it on the NLSS and they'll go wow That's super weird. And I'm like, It's actually so much more normal, <laughs> but I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, man anyway Again people there's a couple of foods that we're up to no good, started causing trouble in the neighborhood. If you want to consume them, it doesn't bother, it literally, I couldn't care less what you put in your body, okay? It doesn't matter to me at the least, as long as you're not harming anybody else. The people maintain, and this happens in Twitch chat, at least a couple times a year, which is a common enough concern for me to be annoyed, I guess. People will always maintain that two things are health foods that are not. One of them is milk, and whenever you bring up the fact that, you know, they go, what about the protein? You know how much protein's in a glass of milk? It's like you could, you could inhale that much gaseous protein just walking through a cornfield or something. It's like it's got as much protein as a Lunchable. And then they go, what about the calcium? You can get calcium from other sources. Moreover, it's not like the most critical mineral in the world. Second, the second one, you know what I'm going to say? Fruit juices, but specifically orange juice. Whenever you, like, the orange juice, you know, I, I like it, it tastes good, but it's just like, it's, it's kind of just like acidic sugar water. People go, uh, excuse me, vitamin C? We're not on a, on a steamship or a, a galleon in the 16th century. You're not going to get scurvy if you eat, like, a baby carrot a month. I'm not going to say that's, you know, enough, but it's enough that vitamin C is probably not your biggest concern, you know? If you're drinking orange juice thinking that the vitamin C is like, it's it's a health product, you're mistaken. And that's fine. But again, it's like the... Some truth in ad... It sounds like I'm being like a tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist right now. And I'm not. And I that's what I'm trying to... Oh, that was just, so, just awful damage. So I'm trying to walk my uh, choice of verbiage and also my impassionedness back a little bit. Um... I don't know if this thing can actually give me a deal with the devil with the way it's laid out. But I'm going to hope that it does anyway. Sometimes these rooms can be a little wonky. Let's go. Oh, dude. Let's actually go. Um, you know what? We actually should take Cambian Conception first. 
That way we can get closer to getting a payout out of this. It's not that I think milk and orange juice are necessarily bad for you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't think that they're good for you. That's my personal interpretation, at least. You know, it hasn't been a bodybuilder since, like, the 1950s. That's like, oh, yeah, the, you know, if I really want to bulk up healthily, I drink a gallon of milk a day. Are you Charles Atlas? You know, we got nutritional science has come a long way. But it's fine if you like them. I drink orange juice from time to time. I drink milk never, but it's mostly because I don't like the taste. It's not like a principled stand or anything like that. It's, um, it's mostly because I don't like the taste, but I just... I have, I've had this discussion so many times, it'll make your freaking head spin, man. And you can't argue with me, because I have a bachelor's degree in biology. That's the highest level of education you can aspire to in the biological sciences. I'm essentially the Neil deGrasse Tyson of your body. Which is a wonderland, as long as you're not a milk drinker. Hey, hey, uh, dude. Thanks a lot. Uh, dare we? Ooh, we dare. Like a song by The Replacements. I will. Is he talking about Alex Chilton? <laughs> Not talking about Alex Chilton! Even if children buy the millions, wait for Alex Chilton to come around. Um, dude, thank you so much for the added extra HP there. I, this is a floor that could bust it wide open for us. So we're looking for, I mean, we've got a, a blood bank already, which is like a rarity. This is actually, I hate these rooms, man. Oh, poor, poor baby. The game got slightly hard. Dude, these enemies, they will break your brain. They will make you hurt. No more, please. We've already dealt with two of them. Straight up, we're very lucky we have Tractor Beam to have made it that easy. I'm gonna try to, like, tr do the whole floor in advance of, uh... Eh, might do it. Try to do the whole floor in advance of going back to the Blood Bank so uh, Placenta has as much time as possible to work. Because we really want to get uh, KB and Conception to work as well. Kind of want to go to the Curse Room, but it's a little... Scary. Uh, we do have a guppy item. We, we don't kind of want to go to the curse room. We want to go to the curse room. I'm just thinking we kind of have the ability to go to the curse room. But we really have the ability to go to the shop. That's like kind of our money maker right now. Don't be afraid to use bombs if you find yourself in a tight spot as well. You know, one hit uh, from a champion puts you in a weird place. I'd like to avoid that if at all possible. I moved to the last second. Luckily, Demon Judgment was there to pick up the slack. I will admit, though, for the milk-orange juice discussion, yeah, sure. Um, I've been the guy who's like, that's weird. Not about milk, but about pizza. I had a friend in, uh, in uh, public school, elementary school, middle school, high school. I don't know why I felt the need to audit our friendship, but he, uh, he didn't like pizza. And of course, you know, especially between the ages of like 11 and 14. So if it's a birthday party, there's pizza, my dude. I mean, that, that holds true to some extent into adulthood as well. But those are the prime pizza years. You know, the, you ever hear the expression salad days? It's the salad days of your life. These were the pizza days. Those were the za days of our lives. Back in the summer of 69. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, you gotta say that. It's it's written in the Canadian Constitution. God, I hate Brian Adams, but he's Canadian. Frig. Um, I don't I don't hate him as a person. I hate his music. Except except the part in uh, everything I do, I'll do it for you. When he goes, take my hand, take my life. I like that part, cause he's literally going like. Hey, I love you so much, why don't you murder me? And I go, Brian, this doesn't make any sense. 
I'll give it all I sacrifice. Yeah, dude, that's a that's a classic. Okay, we fueled up to full. We're still wicked friggin' slow. That friend that I was, we'd go to a pizza party. I'd be like, hey, you wanted some pizza? He'd be like, nah. I'd be like, that's weird. But it is weird to not like pizza. <laughs> it's delicious. I'm, I know I'm being a hypocrite. People, I think when you're younger, you spend like your life thinking that being a hypocrite is a bad thing. When you get older, you resign yourself to the fact that you're going to be hypocritical about some things and you resolve to make them as innocuous as possible. And they love each other so innocuous. That's true. A second replacements reference. He's bringing the heat today. We are faster. Uh, we're healthier. More productive. And with a good chance at a deal with the devil here. Run's looking fine. Yep, not getting none of that without taking a hit, but Run's looking fine. I'm going to pop it. Mostly because I'm uh, impatient. And I... I wouldn't dislike the chance to get the boss rush. This fly is going to explode. I, th I think. Isn't... Doesn't the yellow fly explode? Oh my god. Could you just be like a little faster? <laughs> Since we've already been to our deal with the devil, I'm going to go to the curse room straight away. Yeah, why not? Help down! After all we've done for pharmaceuticals over the... Oh, it's not a yellow fly. It's an orange fly that explodes. Nailed it. Again, it doesn't... Whoa, Tinted Rock? No? Doesn't matter if we... Uh... If we get a deal, in fact, we'd actually prefer not to get a deal with the devil on this floor to raise our chances of getting one on the next floor. And KB and Conception has finally popped, and it's popped in, like, the best way you could possibly imagine. The existence of a little brimstone that I walked into uh, the enemy instead of actually hitting them with. For some reason. This run is actually good now. It looks like straight garbage. But it's actually good. Oh, never mind. It's horrible. Luckily, there was that red heart back there. I'm kind of worried about our exploding flies, though. Please be more than a half red heart. Ooh, it's a full red heart. Okay. We played really well for part of this run. And then starting, like, very recently, mostly, like, since popping that Joker card, we've been playing like a true idiot. Um, this is our chance to get some redemption. One more. Milk is kind of weird, though. It's, you know, the thing that I always ask about milk, I always go like, why cows? <laughs> I know that people consume other kinds of milk as well. I'm always like, have we tried it all? Have we tried like, you know, we talked about whale milk on the NLSS. Have we tried like, you know, chimpanzee milk? Why did it end up being cows? Is the milk pleasant? Was it fortifying during an era when, um, you know, people needed that kind of fortification? Like when psychic spies from China try to steal your mind's elation? Don't even get me started on those little girls from, Sque from Sweden. Uh, I think we very much prefer the fishtail here. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think we're going to make boss rush either, which is actually, like, kind of pressure off, but... Is that what, uh, is that what, it was it that cows were easily found or very easily domesticated? Was that, maybe it was all part of it? Or is it just that, like, almost all animal milk is not that good, but for whatever reason, cows buck the trend? In which case, 
big ups to the dude who went through every animal he could find, every mammal at least, and figured that out, because like that guy's legendary. So that item room was actually horrible. Um, we should have taken x-ray goggles, and if we'd gotten x-ray goggles, we would have been like, the item room's okay. It's Your perception uh, of, of what you had is changed by the fact that we had choices in the matter. The fact that we had so many choices and ended up with our best choice being like a, essentially an average item is kind of a bummer. But the run looks good. Goodish. Remember, we don't want to deal with the devil here. We already saw it. It was the uh, little harbingers, seven seals, the buttress of Windsor. We maybe could have gotten away with taking Bomber Boy as well, but we only have seven bombs. We would have had twelve, I guess. But that's not a that's not a ton of bombs, really. I re I the speed is so good, but I really want a. Uh, an arcade on the next floor, so we could maybe get Cal oh, this will also work. So we could just get KMB and Conception to work like right now. Or soon. Boss Rush is almost literally not possible outside of getting a Mama Mega, which we've already seen. We really uh, would be fine getting HP from this guy. That also works. That's how she goes. Okay. See, the thing is, I don't really want to. want to push it too, too hard here, but we might as well. We got the time. Hmm. Dad's lost coin. Essentially, boils down to a luck upgrade. It's not bad. Why? This will leave. Just like we have an exploding fly right now, so things are a little tight if that thing hits me. We gotta be super close to the Cambian Conception, though. Like, that's why, like, blood banks are actually super valuable. They get so much better under, like, a variety of different items. Gimpy. Fanny, anything that gives you anything when you get hit gives you a chance. Hematemesis, Hematemesis dude, it's, it's a small heal. After all, you think milk's like the weirdest food that people eat? It's it, 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 we're kind of backwards over here, and I don't want to insult like where I live. I like North America, but. We think milk is like, is literally like baby food for a different species. Produced by that species. And we go, oh, this is it's the most normal food in the world. And then they, a lot of people look at kale and go, that's gross. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a vegetable that grows in the ground. I'm not like, I know I'm uh, inhabiting or Fulfilling a West Coast stereotype by trying to evangelize kale. That's not really my intention Even though I do like it because I have to where they'd kick me out But like you know put that into perspective for a bit people are, I don't really like radishes They taste weird. Oh Yeah, but another species milk that was wrapped in wax and fermented for 18 months Sign me up. I'm not saying it's wrong. I love cheese. Probably more than you do, if I'm being honest. I've been checking the chat logs, and I'm not convinced that we got a high degree of cheese loving out there for what I would consider to be a normal uh, incidence rate. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just... The fever is starting to over oh, overtake my brain, and... Uh, I'm glad we don't live in like, you know, the 1920s even, where this could be like a potentially catastrophic illness or something like that. Not that people don't die uh, or find themselves like permanently scarred by the flu, but let's be real. It's a pr mostly now when you get the flu, you're like, oh no, I have to call my boss. Or oh, I'm going to be sick for a couple days. Back in the day, what it was like to like get sick back in the day. 
and not know if it was something horrible? Because <laughs> now, I mean, I guess maybe it's not that different. Because now when I get sick, I don't know if it's something normal or something horrible, right? Like, I just go, oh, this feels like this. And then I, if it gets a lot worse, then I go to the doctor. So maybe it's not that different, but... I don't know, WebMD has changed things, man. I think. For the, people think like WebMD has changed things for the worse, to some extent, and maybe it has, uh, especially if you're a doctor. I'm sure people always diagnose themselves before they come in and then they don't believe you. Um, and you know, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I, I imagine it's probably annoying at the very least. But everybody always goes like, oh, I had a sore throat and then I went on WebMD and it convinced me it's cancer. Isn't that, sh I almost said a swear, isn't that bad? And I'm like, yeah. For like the 99.5% of people that don't have cancer. But what about those 0.5% of people, or 0.05 or whatever percentage it is, this is very dangerous, um, that go check it and they go, oh, maybe it's like thyroid cancer. And then they go to the doctor and the doctor's like, how did you know? <laughs> I imagine those stories are like much more rare. The people talk about like WebMD giving you anxiety. Now that I can relate to. As soon as you say the capital A word, I'm with you, man. Don't get me wrong. But hey, people talk about it as if it's like a universally negative thing. I'm sure there's got to be some. I mean, it's, it's maybe it sounds a little crass to call it a feel-good story, <laughs> but there's got to be some stories of people that were like, yeah, you know, I had like a stiff neck and I went on WebMD and it got me nervous. I went to the doctor and they caught. Something serious that WebMD said it could be before it became like too late. That's a great story. I'm just saying, you know. I don't know if WebMD is like how reputable it is. And I mean that sincerely. Like, I don't know if it's primarily a business or primarily a service. Is it run by practicing doctors or is it like run by a marketing firm in Mendocino, California? That I do not know. But I'm sure there, there's gotta... It only makes sense that there's stories like that out there somewhere. I think I stepped on creep. I think I stepped on a widow. No! What the heck am I doing here? Take my life! I will never, ever forgive the Tinted Rock for not paying out with, like, the thing it always pays out with. Just terrible. Please no exploding flies. Well, these rooms are, like... No brainers. I did this all. This is how much I value piercing shots. Piercing shots. <laughs> I did this all to pick up piercing shots. That's why I put myself on this level of HP. Great shot, by the way. Really? Really? Hmm. No explodey flies. Oh, I think he was going to get me. Let's go. We can survive one more hit exactly. I don't care what you say about me. This is my run. Beep, 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 boop. Say goodbye to the matter. Leave me alone. The run is like actually great from a damage standpoint. Mostly because of our trinket that has been gulped, and that for a moment I thought it was gone. But we are like two mistakes away from losing the run. Now we're two and a half mistakes away from losing the run. You can do your own conversion to figure out what the what the ratio of mistakes uh, to survivability is. I'm sure. Yeah, why not? We're definitely not going to fight Hush. It's a modest bummer, because we got the money, honey, 
to make it uh, an okay decision. Except for the fact that our HP is so low. Similarly, just can't do anything there. Curse room's way too dangerous. Going, going. I think we'll be fine. I mean, like, ever since we've gone down to two spirit hearts, we've been hit one time. So, fairly uh, confident in our abilities. Don't see a tinted rock. You know I'm getting serious when I start turning the map down to look at the tinted rocks. It's the wrong direction. Probably, like, super wrong direction. Mmm. Hard to tell. I am a little upset with myself. This room is actually horrible. Ho 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 ho! It's almost like the Final Fantasy victory music. Ho 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 ho! That's probably already existed on YouTube for a while, but like, give me some credit, please. Give me some credit, please. What could you have for me over here, which is definitely the second secret room you're pointing me in, guiding me in. Range down. Speed up. I, I like it. I like the health up. I don't really love Are You a Yolandi Wizard, but... No, 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 no. Alright, so that is how you do it. Because of Tractor Beam, Are You a Wizard is actually not bad. Where's our second? I guess, like, we can't really enable KB in Conception, but I, I thought we would have had it by now just from random damage we've taken combined with like the blood banks we've played oh lordy well we're up to the cathedral i don't know man in the end you could also argue against me saying like you know kale's a normal food because a lot of stuff grows in the ground that we shouldn't eat you know like poison <laughs> All poisons are like, you know, fruits or vegetables, right? I, I find it funny though when people who don't like vegetables, this is not a knock on Sinvicta. To the best of my knowledge, he's never said this, but they'll say things like, you know, well, I don't like tomatoes, but did you know tomatoes are a member of the nightshade family? Like, oh, wow. I didn't. Well, you, geez, I gotta stop eating those. Like, what's the lethal dose of tomatoes? Oh, uh, more than my body weight? Incredible. Wow, you've really solved the conundrum there. You're, turns out you're right. And everybody else is wrong. Tomatoes were a mistake. You gotta get this news to CNN, dude. You know what? We did have Cambian Conception pop. I'm not sure if it just happened recently, but we have two came uh, two uh, demon babies. Which is it's I'm very uh, tempted. To be mad, as you might expect, but it's actually pretty good. Could be worse. Obviously, it could be better. Like a, uh, a dark bomb is kind of like our end game here. Dude, these tinted rocks have been trash. Oh, careful, careful, careful. But uh, you know, a second demon baby, it's not useless. I think, uh, <laughs> just gonna kind of nip that situation in the bud, like a nightshade plant. Deserves a quiet night. So for a brief moment, uh, I lost 70 IQ points. And I said, first off, is this what it's like to be average, to have a 100 IQ? <laughs> oh no, I deserve that. Um, but then secondly, I, I thought to myself, you know what would be a really smart idea? Using uh, Sack Dagger to deal damage. Anybody contemplating the same is not a smart idea. This is a bad idea for dumb idiots like me.
Not quite gonna get you. We got the speed to get where we need to go. Alright, we have an explosive fly. I'm very nervous. Like, I, I thought about walking back, but I was like, I know there's spikes, there's rooms we bombed our way through. Just hope for some HP in one form or another. Oh, jeez, okay. Well, I mean, great item. Uh, amazing item. These ones aren't that good. <laughs> but, still, what do you- Two pills, a health downgrade, and perks. <gasps> oh, no! Can I offer you something? Uh, that I want to offer in my own defense? I had chocolate milk! I was- I knew that we had Ipecac. It wasn't that I forgot, it just blew myself away. I thought chocolate milk would lead to us storing one big Ipecac shot and sending it out. Clearly I'm mistaken. Um, but I, that's why I was charging room to room. Wow, that came out of nowhere. I really think it, it's obviously a stupid mistake, but it's not that stupid. If I blow myself up, I'll, be, I'll own it. And I did blow myself up and I'm owning it. But, like, I'm just saying, you know, why didn't chocolate milk work? Anyway, thanks for watching. Must be an interaction I'm not familiar with. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.